The rainfall already out of here. It moved through 1 to 2 a.m. Now it's pushing off to the east. Rain already down towards the Charlotte area and approaching the Winston-Salem Greensboro markets this morning. Town by town for this afternoon with that front pushing through, we'll say we're going to be a few degrees cooler than we were yesterday. 71 towards Rogersville. We saw Buffalo Mountain there. Now we're starting to head into some of our mountain valleys, starting to see the snow in the distance. It was really an incredible sight from the air and one that I hope you guys get to experience yeah. sometime. This is looking toward, you know, the Super Bowl's coming up it very is. soon. Next weekend, I'm pulling for the Panthers myself. I know our news director is as well. Do you have a team? I haven't picked yet. I haven't really thought about well, it, to be Panthers honest. Panthers would be a good pick. Okay. But <laughs> hey, how much are you going to spend? The average amount that people spend on the Super Bowl now. Give you a look at some of our cameras across the area. Here's our VDOT camera showing you some road conditions in Wise County, also in Weber City, a little bit snowy there. Creating a winter wonderland like this requires three things, time, money, and a little bit of science. Using a lot of water, various nozzles. Trick or treat tonight, most rain stays to the west, but isolated showers possible. And then overnight, slightly scary for a few folks. We could see a few downpours and maybe a rumble or two or three. Here's your Storm Track 5 weather forecast. Now, meteorologist Ricky Matthews. All right, if you're not looking up at your TV right now, to go ahead and take a look. Because check out this sunrise from Bays Mountain in Kingsport. A fantastic view this morning from our tower cam located on the top of Bays Mountain. Current conditions sitting at 20 degrees in the Tri Cities. So while the sunrise is fantastic, these temperatures not as fantastic with that northwest wind seven miles per hour making it feel like 11 degrees this morning and it has felt even colder than that at times this morning parts portions of wise russell washington castle smith and grayson counties where a wind chill advisory is going to be in effect until later this morning for castle smith grayson and the north carolina high country that's going to be in effect until tomorrow morning at 10 a.m so keep that in mind if you have any plans outside today Dress appropriately for it. Hats, gloves, mittens, layers, of course. Avoid that long exposure outside just to prevent any possible frostbite or hypothermia if you're out there too long. And, of course, check on the elderly and bring the pets inside tonight as well because it's going to be another chilly, chilly night. Now, our severe threat tracker in the medium alert level for Saturday and Sunday. Higher, though, on Monday as some wintry weather heads our way. It's probably going to have some impact on that early morning commute on Monday. The setup for all this cold air across our area, moisture from the Gulf being brought up into our region. That's going to combine together and give us the potential for some snow as we go over the day Sunday night into Monday and Tuesday. And a few things still uncertain. The storm track, if the storm track is east of us, it's probably going to be a little bit of a colder and snowier solution. But if it's west of us, it will be a little bit warmer and that will probably cause some less snow. That's going to also impact precipitation type. If we see some mixing, that can cut down on snow totals. So those are a little bit uncertain at this time. But let me try to break it down for you a little bit and show you what I think is going to happen. Here's future track as we go through this afternoon. Abundant sunshine at times. Pretty nice day overall in terms of the clouds and sun, but still very chilly. Now, clouds increase early tomorrow morning. And that's ahead of our next weather system. Notice as we go through the day, we stay dry until late evening into the overnight hours as some snow showers start to push in. If you have Valentine's Day dinner plans, maybe early, you're going to be okay. I think later into the evening, though, on Sunday, be alert for a few slick roads and snow developing as we go into Sunday evening and overnight. Now, that snow moves across our area as we go through the day on Monday, giving us a wintry weather potential for Monday morning's commute. Then notice a little bit of mixing starting to come in, especially across the Tennessee valleys as we go into the day Monday. Now, that's going to impact snow totals a little bit here. So I'm thinking a light to moderate accumulation, maybe a few inches for the Tri-Cities up towards Avenue, Greenville. But heavier snowfall, of course, for the higher elevations, also perhaps portions of Hawkins County, maybe near Rogersville could see a little bit heavier snowfall, and across southeast Kentucky seeing some heavier snowfall. So the potential is there for a winter storm Sunday into Tuesday. We're going to see some rain changing over to a mix, I think, on or snow changing to a mix on Monday. And then accumulating snow potential is there. Just the amounts are a little bit uncertain at this time. This afternoon, though, no snow around, partly cloudy, maybe a straight flurry, I should say, though. Cloud, cloudy and cold and breezy, that's the word I'm looking for tonight. And into today, temperatures only warming up into the 20s tonight, driving down into the teens to single digits for many locations. It's going to be a very chilly, chilly night. Check out your StormTrack 5 seven-day forecast because we're going to see some very chilly air over the next couple of days as well. Check out 30 for Sunday, 35 on Monday. Then after that, 40 as we go into Tuesday. 47 finally with a slight warm-up on Thursday. Maybe even near 60 late wow. next week. Wow. Yeah. It's hard to transformation. Believe. The changes in the swings of a weather pattern. Of the week. <laughs> All right. Did the weather in a mountain area can vary significantly, especially when it comes to winter weather. Elevation has a huge play in snow totals with higher locations typically picking up more snow. 
Starting in Bristol and heading down 11E, there was very little snow or ice on the road. Travel was going at a normal pace, and it was mostly life as usual in Bristol at an elevation of 1,400 feet. Across the Bristol area, not a whole lot of snow, but still very cold temperatures. Most valley locations only received a light dusting to a few inches, allowing the roads and most of the grassy surfaces to just have a light coating of snow on them. Venturing into Elizabeth, and the roads were still okay, with DOT and city crews clearing any slick spots. We checked in on snow totals near the famous covered bridge, which has an elevation of around 1,600 feet. Into Elizabeth, and the snow got a little bit heavier. Light flurries still falling, and the snow measurement around about a half an inch. As we stopped in Hampton at 1,800 feet, we noticed the snow totals start to increase. A coating of one to two inches was on the ground. Finally, we moved into the Rome Mountain area, a favored zone for northwest flow snow. At the Rome Mountain Visitor Center, located at 2,700 feet, we measured five to six inches. The drive up to the top of Carver's Gap was icy and slick, with four-wheel drive necessary. At the top of Rome Mountain on Carver's Gap, noticeably colder, windier, and also a ton of rime ice. Since this was a drier snow, measuring snow totals at Carver's Gap was next to impossible. Drier snow weighs less, causing it to blow around easier than wet snow. The snow drifts, however, were quite impressive, reaching over a foot in many locations. That'd be over a foot. In Northeast Tennessee, Ricky Matthews, News 5, WCYB. Further in the Atlantic, this is Tropical Storm Fred. It formed overnight. Fred's expected to move out to the west and really not impact anyone except for a few fish out there in the Atlantic Ocean over the next couple of days. Check Future track through the next 48 hours. Let's show you what's going to happen as we go into Monday. We'll wake up Monday morning with no clouds around, but by noon we will see a few clouds moving into the area. And then as you go into the afternoon, you see a few showers and storms, especially across the western areas, moving into our region. And they'll probably last as we go into the evening. So grab the umbrella as you head out the door tomorrow because you may need it as you leave work tomorrow, probably not when you head to work.